Now, I don't know about you guys, but I can be naughty sometimes and I can certainly be nice. You're going to love today's Dollar Tree haul. I'm Jamie, the crafty DIY guy. Welcome back to my channel. I know I say this every time I do a Dollar Tree haul, but I'm I'm excited. There's some fun stuff at Dollar Tree, and uh, I want to jump into this haul. But before I do that, of course, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. You guys know who you are. Also, I want to talk about these trees back here. A lot of people are asking me questions about these trees, and uh, they are linked in the description box below. They are inexpensive. They were like $35. They're pop-up tinsel trees. They come in a flat box, almost like a pizza box. They pop up like, and you put the ornaments, the star, the lights, everything is included for like 30, it's like 30 or $35. I don't remember. There's five foot versions. There's six foot versions. And uh, I actually have three here. Duh. And uh, I put one of them up on a box. So two of them are five feet. And then one of them is uh, six foot. And then I've got one that's just kind of elevated up on a little box and uh, super, super cute, right? Speaking of super cute. Don't you love these? These are so fun. Now, at first I thought this was like that mermaid pillow, but it's not. It, uh, the, those sequins do not move. But uh, this one says nice. And this one says naughty. These are at Dollar Tree. They were the $5 items. So um, $5 section, Dollar Tree plus section, whatever you want to call it. And uh, super, super cute. Love these. Think I'm going to put this one um, on my bed. I'm probably the nice and the naughty one on my bed because... There ain't nothing nice or naughty going on in there. And <laughs> we're going to also talk about these little treat buckets. How cute are these? These are precious. Um, it's two pack, first of all. So that's always a bonus, especially when, you know, you're shopping Dollar Tree, Dollar Twenty Five, And um, they have lids. They also have handles, so they are like little treat buckets. They they are treat buckets. And uh, I'm gonna use these to do some Secret Santa gifts for my neighbors. And uh, I grabbed the red ones that say Merry and Bright, and there's kind of that candy cane idea on there. And then this one says Joy to the World, and it's got the Christmas trees on it. Super, super cute. Thought that these could be really fun for some Secret Santa gifts and things like that. Um, as long as I don't drop them and break them. Uh, the other thing that I grabbed, and this is um, this is really because of Bargain Bethany. Like I did not even know these existed and saw her haul and immediately went to Dollar Tree. I went to three different Dollar Trees, finally found them. Um, this is going to light up. So if you have any kind of, you know, light reactions or anything, just a, a warning there. Um, it does take three AAA batteries but um, this thing lights up. This gets really, really bright. And I've got my studio lights and everything on in here so you can kind of already see how bright this really is. And I'm thinking that uh, I'm gonna put this out on the front porch and we're gonna light the front porch up for Christmas time. And uh, I think it's adorable. I think it's so cute. And I did buy two of them because I want the lights to be nice and bright out there. So. Uh, Props and thank you to Bargain Bethany for finding them in her shopping hall. So grab some bells, some silver bells. Get it, silver bells. And uh, I have an idea that I'm doing on some DIYs and these are kind of oversized and fun. And uh, I grabbed some silver bells, what can I say? The other thing that I grabbed, and this is kind of more a utility thing, but I do think with like swapping out artwork and stuff and uh, like, uh, especially like in my photography area where I do kind of, uh, you know, put things on the wall and I'm always nailing and taking things down and then having to repaint. These are removable picture strips. And I thought that those could be really good. I'm going to test those out in the um, kind of the, uh, it's my guest room, but that's where I do a lot of photography and stuff too. And uh, yeah, we're going to give those a try. They also had these in black, by the way. So I did grab them in black also. Um, it's really random. Some of this stuff is like Christmas stuff. Some of it is just like new stuff that I found. So, but um, this is not new. I just needed it. And it's a measuring cup. I like these measuring cups a lot. I've actually had really good success with them. This is a four cup measuring cup. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. It's just a measuring cup, but it is something that I did need. Now, speaking of um, 
things I did not need <laughs> and just having fun. This is super, super cute. Now I've seen these before. They are these kind of plastic candy dishes. This is the snowflake. They have a Christmas tree. They have a piece of kind of longer uh, candy. And uh, I have a DIY idea for this actually to kind of elevate this and and make this a little nicer looking and uh we're gonna we're gonna play around with that for an upcoming diy um the other thing that i grabbed and i i very very foolishly grabbed two different kinds but um we're gonna say it's for research purposes now the uh glue sticks that dollar tree sells they have jot brand they have a bunch of different brands this is an elmer's brand which elmer's is such a good glue so I thought that could be a really good one. And then, uh, I'm sorry, this is the Elmer's one. Yeah, this is the Elmer's one. And uh, this is a Play School brand, but both of them are a great brand. So I thought that I would give them a try. I'm expecting really good things with this. Um, I use glue sticks instead of Mod Podge for a lot of projects. And uh, I just like the glue stick better. I don't get the bubbles. I think it's smoother. For me, it just works out better. I don't know if... Um, if you have any Mod Podge tips, by all means, share them with me because I do have a Mod Podge. I just, I just like the Elmer's glue sticks better. Um, socks. I also like socks. And these are not Christmas socks. Believe it or not, my store does not have any men's Christmas socks out yet. Um, I found some at uh, Family Dollar, but I've not seen any at Dollar Tree yet. But um, I did find these. And... Uh, you know, me and blue. So they're going to go with every single thing that I have wardrobe wise. And um, I like socks. What can I say? I have lots of different socks. Um, speaking of just some fun little gifts, um, these little pride pads, these are like little notepads. And I thought that these were super, super cute. I'm going to put these in some stockings for some friends of mine. And uh, I may even keep one. I may keep this one just to write some notes in because it's a little notepad. But then also they had um, this little guy. It's just this little gadget. It's this zipper kind of pouch. And uh, I thought that this could be perfect for my AirPods. And um, it's called a tech case. So it will hold, you know, phone cords and headphone cords. And But I was thinking my AirPods would fit nicely in here and stay kind of in the case. So that's why I grabbed that one. And uh, the other cuteness that I grabbed was this little desk toy. It is a um, it's a dice and you roll the dice and depending on what your kind of you're either going to land on a star or you're going to land on dream big little one or you're going to land on something that says reach for the stars but I thought this could actually be a cute DIY as well so um, more to come with this one um, bucket I grabbed a bucket it's a cute Santa belt buckle bucket. I'm trying to say that a bunch of times. Oh, and look what's in there, a receipt. You know what we do with our receipts. We scan them into an app called Fetch Rewards. If you do not know about Fetch Rewards, every time you get a receipt, scan this into the app. You will earn points for this, and then you can eventually redeem those points for all kinds of fun shopping um, gift cards and uh, Amazon gift cards, Visa gift cards, MasterCard gift cards, movie theater gift cards, retail gift cards, tons of retail store options. And there is a referral code in my description box below. You will get 2,000 points if you scan your first receipt and use my code below. So if you're not checking out Fetch Rewards, definitely check it out because right now with the holidays coming up, this is prime time. You're going to get all kinds of receipts. And Fetch works for any type of receipt. Grocery store, gas station receipts, Dollar Tree receipts, Michael's receipts, Hobby Lobby, anywhere that you might be shopping, there are tons of receipts. All you do is scan them. It's very, very easy. Now, this bucket, I was thinking that this could be perfect for this little gem that I found. The four foot Christmas tree. This is a four foot Christmas tree. It was in the plus section, so it was five dollars. It was five dollars. And if you look at this tree and you look at the way um, the picture is, I haven't opened this up yet, but see that? That looks a lot like these trees that are also at Dollar Tree. This is the white version, they have green version as well. And uh, you know, if you're gonna fluff it. It's gonna be painfully thin and you're gonna fluff it and probably add some garland or something to it. But I was thinking instead of putting the stand on the bottom of it, I think I'm gonna put some quick concrete in this and take the tree and put it down 
in that, or at least, you know, that far into it. And have this as my kind of tree skirt for this Christmas tree and thought that that could be such a cute idea. And I mean, a four foot Christmas tree for $5. I just paid probably $45 or $50 for a Christmas tree on um, Amazon that is in my guest bedroom that is flocked. And it's four foot as well. And it was not $5 because I just said it was 40 something dollars. But um, that was definitely something. This was another thing that I grabbed that was in the plus section. And um, if you're like me, you have lots of shoes. When I walk in the door, I typically just kind of kick my shoes off. This is like a boot, um, you know, kind of a shoe. Um, it's, it's called a, uh, a boot tray. I wear a size 12 and this actually fits my shoes perfectly. And uh, it's something that I can keep by the front door. As soon as I walk in, I can kick my shoes off, put them in this, and it helps. If there's any mud or any gook or anything on them, it's gonna collect in here. Um, I don't really have snow or ice in my area. Well, we do have ice in Atlanta, but um, we don't really get a lot of snow. We'll probably get some now that I've said that. And um, anyway, that will be good for that. And if anything, it's a good place to help me stay organized when I walk in the door. Um, cute, cute, cute gift tags. If you're not buying gift tags at Dollar Tree, you're missing out because these were so cute. I was actually thinking of using these for DIYs. They have the two in the from on the back side of them, which is great because you could really easily use these in some super fun DIYs. How cute is that one there? The little snow hat. This is a Christmas tree tag, the snowflake, and then of course the red truck. I loved these so, so much. Tons of gift bag options too. I'm not, not quite ready to buy the gift bags, which is probably a bad thing because as soon as I get ready to buy the gift bags, there won't be any left, but um, that's okay, I'll figure it out, right? A necktie, I got a cute little necktie, a little Christmas necktie. I almost wore it today, but um, I just thought it would be silly, honestly. It's it's cute. It says Merry Christmas. Probably not going to wear it out in public anywhere. But um, who knows? This also is kind of cute. It's a beard. It's a beard. It's a little Santa Claus beard. It's got the little strap here. And, uh, you know, I thought, why not? Why not just be silly? Maybe I'll wear it for my next uh, DIY video or something. And uh, this is fun because it does have very sticky... And uh, the elastic kind of strap on here. I will say though, now I'm concerned because it doesn't look very big. Let's see. What does this? Okay, this is not working very well. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? Ho ho ho! Kind of looks kind of weird, huh? All right, now I'm terrified to take this off. All right, success. Usually my fat head will uh, break those types of things. So um, that was a good thing. Uh, these little antler ornaments, these deer head ornaments, how cute are these? Have you seen these before? This is the new Christmas packaging, by the way. So if you see something that's in this kind of red, this is the new packaging, or at least that's what I was told at Dollar Tree. I, I feel like I remember this Christmas house packaging before though. So I don't know. I don't know how reliable that source is, but um, how cute are those? They could be fantastic ornaments. I was thinking that I would put them on this tree back here, but um, you could use them for some fun DIYs as well. So um, who knows, more to come there. Um, these are super, super cute. I don't exactly know what they are, um, but they were cute. They're not barrettes because of the clip. I think that they are for maybe like an ornament or something, but they've got Santa here and then the wreath, and then they have these little presents, but um, they're taped on here, but let me see if I can get one off of here. But they're on these clips that kind of remind me of like a clip that you would see for like a tie. I know that when I used to wear tie clips and stuff, you would you know, have a clip like that. And of course I had to grab the silver one, which is going to be nearly impossible to see. Let's see if I can get this green one out of here. But um, I thought that these were super cute and thought that they could be fun. Um, they, have, they, they say nothing on the packaging as to what they are. So, 
Santa beard. Um, cute, right? Super, super cute. Thought that they could be fun on a shirt or something, but also thought that they could be fun clipped onto a present or onto a card, onto a wreath. And again, this is two pieces here. This is like the little wreath at the top and then you've got the little Santa legs. And uh, again, just thought they were super cute and thought that they could be fun for, um, you know, I'll figure out something for them. And if not, that's okay too. Um, I grabbed some olive oil. I'm out of olive oil. I Olive oil is expensive. And uh, I'm just being silly and frugal. So I saw it and I was like, I need some olive oil. So I grabbed it. Um, you know those little treat pails that I grabbed at the very beginning that I showed you? Why not fill them up with some little candies? And I love these Andes candies, especially this Cherry Jubilee one that comes out around Christmas time. And then also this Cream de Mint one that um, you've probably seen forever. But um, I don't know if they're gonna make it into the treat buckets, to be honest, because uh, they might make it in here. But uh, yeah, I grabbed those while I was there. Floral foam, because I need some floral foam foam for an upcoming project that I'm actually excited about. And also, these, I didn't even take them out of the bag. These are not the same ones as last year because they are bigger and they're heavier. Um, these solar lights. I don't know if you've seen these or not before, but um, they did make some last year that were kind of longer and skinnier. And these are heavy. These are heavier than what they did last year. And uh, at first I thought that mine were broken because they they didn't work. But um, they actually have an on off switch inside of here. And you put this, you switch this to on and then you let it charge in the sun. And when it charges in the sun for about six to eight hours, then it works like a normal solar light from there. But um, if you remember when I redid the front of my house and took the awnings off and built the pergola, I have the individual little pieces of the pergola and I wanna say there's like eight of them. So I grabbed two of each color, which are the blue, the green, the yellow, and the red. So I can hang these on the pergola and it will look like that I have Christmas lights up there, but I don't have to actually string Christmas lights on there. I'm thinking I could use, honestly, my Shorebonder staple gun to just put these up and um, I'm excited about them. We're gonna see how they work. And uh, again, I did buy two of each color and we're just keeping them there in the bag so they don't go all over the place. Um, Christmas trees, the little mini Christmas trees. They have the green ones out, which were perfect because I do have a project that I'm working on for my, not my next crafting video, but probably the one after that. And um, these are gonna be perfect for that DIY. And again, um, I'm excited about them. I'm excited about them. And they're, they're you know, they're thin. Those little trees, they, they need some loving, they need some zhuzhing, but um, if you combine them, they actually make a pretty decent sized tree. And I did think about doing that with the four foot Christmas tree, but then just decided I didn't I didn't want that kind of commitment. So um, <laughs> that was that. Um, cuteness overload, how cute are these little paw ornaments? And uh, the buffalo check, they had these in red. Uh, buffalo check and or the red plaid and then they had them in green they had them in this white and it's a three pack which is even better and it's a good size ornament as you can see and there's a great space right here where you can write your pet's name on it and so I was thinking one for Otis and then my uh, sister has two border collies uh, Venus is one of them and UFO is the other one so I thought I would send these to her there's literally like Santa fuzz everywhere. Um, and uh, she could, you know, paint these up or leave them just as is and, and paint uh, some names on the front of them for her puppy dogs. Um, the other things that I grabbed, uh, these are so cute, oh my gosh, so, so cute. Metal signs, um, that one says Joy. I don't know if, hopefully it's, I guess it's not backwards now. So you can see that it says joy. How cute is that? In the center of the wreath, in a wreath, this could be fantastic. So there was uh, joy and I grabbed that one. I also grabbed hope, which now they're all tangled up together. Um, hope, 
which again could be perfect for Christmas, but I was also thinking that this could be perfect for breast cancer awareness. This could be used for a lot of different reasons in a lot of different ways. And you could spray paint them, you can do all kinds of things with them. And uh, it's just a metal sign. And then there's one more that I grabbed that says Noel. And uh, again, super, super cute, so fun, $1.25. And I um, think that they could be really, really useful for some upcoming DIYs. Now, I feel like this is a repeat from a year before. Um, and I could be wrong. I know that there were some placemats that looked like this, but um, how cute is that? It's kind of like an MDF star. And um, it's, it's gonna be really easy to paint, really easy to cover. And uh, I love the size of it and uh, was just kind of thinking about a couple different DIY ideas with this as well, um, because, you know, that's just doing all kinds of crazy DIYs lately. Um, these little floral picks, so cute. Galvanized metal. So there was the snowflake, which is the first one here. Super, super cute. They're, they go inside of a plant or something. Then they had these Christmas trees. How cute are those? Loved these as well. And then the, um, I almost lost him, the snowman. Look at him, he's drunk. The snowman there, how cute are these as well? And thought that they could be fantastic for some upcoming DIYs. I think you could put them in wreaths and cut down the, pole, the kind of stick on them. You could put them in plants out in your front porch. I mean, the, the options are crazy. There are also a lot of things coming into Dollar Tree lately that are not necessarily Christmas. They're just kind of their normal, regular stock, I guess you would say. And uh, they had this cute laundry sign. And uh, what I loved about it is it has these little wood pegs on the front. And what's also nice about them is they're not glued on there. Look at that. They are screwed onto there. So if you wanted to use this and redo this as a sign of some kind with these cute little pull tabs, then you've got that for sure. But if you wanted to just get this so you can have these little mini drawer pulls, they screw right off of there. Why not just grab them, spend like, what, $2.50, and you'd be able to get six of these little drawer pulls that you could use for all kinds of fun things. It could also be feet on uh, DIY projects and stuff. And then um, they had two different laundry signs that are going to be perfection for doing DIYs. This one for the bathroom. I do have a sign on my bathroom currently that says uh, the number four, the letter U, the number two, and then the letter P. Get it? And uh, that sign is on my door right now, but that could be super cute. But look at this, the raised beads on here. You could repaint the center here. You could do all kinds of really fun stuff in here. And I think that that could be perfect for a DIY. And then um, this one, which is a little darker, same kind of com, you know, same kind of combo with the beads and everything, the raised kind of beads. This is going to be so fun. You could even put a mirror in here if you could find a mirror that size or like some mirrored paper or something. And then you'd have this great beaded trim. There's a lot of really fun things that you can do with these. So these will be in the crafts stash for sure. Another great thing that I thought could be fun for a DIY project is this little family frame. Now check this out. This is metal, but um, you see this kind of plastic over here? It's to keep this, um, I guess it's just to keep it all together together but also look there's little screws that hold this on so my assumption based on the way the screws are kind of placed on here it looks like it slides out of the side maybe or maybe you have to take the screws off I don't know but being able to redo that and turning this into a custom frame of some kind maybe with some scrapbook paper or something that was Otis he just ran into the wall and got terrified for some reason <laughs> that was um this frame and again thought that this was super super cute and then the last thing I think it's the last thing the last thing I grabbed also a sign Valentine's Day crafts are going to be coming out before we know it and um 
this little love kind of sign. But what's great about it is it's got these little rings at the top here where you can put photos in and thought that that was super, super cute. This is like strapped on here with a zip tie, so it is not going anywhere. But you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But this I thought was kind of, you know, kind of me. And then maybe you could paint this, redo this, and then you've got a cute photo sign. Why not even do something like this? Just do it up for Christmas. This could be a fun craft idea as well. Now this one is, um, it looks like it's probably screwed. It's not screwed in there, but it looks like it's glued in there. But maybe you could loosen up with a heat gun or something and then pop it out, recover it, pop it back in, add some glue. Who knows? But anyway, that is my haul. Super fun stuff. Some great stuff. Some fun stuff that you can find at Dollar Tree, but then also some stuff in the plus section. And uh, I'm working on some fun DIY projects. There's some great ones coming up. I'm super excited about them. And uh, we're just going to rock and roll and keep having fun. And I'm going to create stuff, more stuff. And my neighbors are loving it because I'm giving them all kinds of stuff that I've been creating. And uh, we're just going to have fun. All right, guys, until next time, if you're a subscriber of mine, thank you so much for being here. Um, definitely hit the like and the notification button and the subscribe button and all those things. Uh, that way you get notifications whenever um, I go live or I do any kind of new videos or anything like that. And I am working on a uh, possible return of the chit chat show. So more to come there. All right, guys, until then, I will talk to you later. All right, bye-bye.